Ladies and gentlemen, what I have for you today is something a bit special. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make a continuous variable transmission today. Now this is a transmission that is basically infinite gears. Now in Stormworks, clutches are pretty hard to engage, but not modular engine clutches. They are so, so beautiful in functionality. And so I'm going to be abusing that today and I'm going to show you how we can make a CVT transmission. That if you put your IPS into one side, you can get a almost perfectly linear, and this, this is a live rating, a almost perfectly linear increase of RPS. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, you don't need any of this testing rig. This is just purely for me to do my testing on. This was just so that I could basically make this into what it is. Now, what you are going to need though is this setup here. Now, this setup is basically what we're going to use to actually make the CVT transmission. So, I'm just going to get rid of all of what I've got, and we're just going to rebuild it. So, you're going to need your power source. That's just obvious, power source. You don't need this TPC here. I'm just using it so I can actually display my RPS of my motor. Then we're going to need a necessary T-piece, and I'll, in fact, I will mark all of my necessary pieces in orange. So we need this piece here, need a corner there, and then we need two gearboxes. Now, this bottom one, consider it your low gear ratio. Your In a normal car, where you've got select gears, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like in a manual transmission, you will, your low gear is, you know, first gear. It's where you're producing the most torque, least RPS. I'd recommend that you face this one away from the engine, and then your high gear at the top, away, uh, towards your engine or your power source. Whatever gear you want it to be, that's up to you. I'm just going to use three to ones to show the change. And now we need a clutch. Now, we're using modular engine clutches for very good reason. So we've got our modular engine clutches, we've got, we'll get some crankshafts, some more modular engine clutches, and then we just join them back together, and then get a torque meter, and there we go. That's it. That's the entire thing done. Now obviously there is logic, yep, yeah, but uh, if we, I'm just going to hook all this stuff up, motor RPS, output RPS and we don't need to chain we don't need to put any input into these gears which is awesome because actually you don't have to you, you can just you know, you know what's incredible about CVTs is that you can use them to maintain your speed I love CVTs I in real life I drive a car with a CVT and I find it amazing especially when accelerating because what a CVT does in a racing sense or an accelerating sense is it pushes your engine You'll push your engine up to maximum power because it's not a, a linear ascension of power there is a peak peak power at certain speed you shoot your engine up to there and you just let your cvt control your speed and so your engine basically sits at mindsets like 3000 rpm so you can do that in stormworks and so what and this is great for controlling your engine output speed um if you want to maximize power and minimize loss this is also great so yeah in Stormworks there's actually no lot no downsides to this I'm considering moving everything to a CVT so let's now make this microcontroller so first things first is we're going to make a microcontroller I'm just going to call mine BT CVT you know big man tech CVT and we're going to get four nodes so change your first three nodes to number outputs and the last one is a number input. A number input is just going to be our CVT engagement. Now that's just going to be a 0 to 1. Because we want 0 being our low gear and 1 being our high gear. Now we have our, what I call our entry clutches. Now these are just your clutches if we look here. These clutches here. So there's those two. Now we have our upper clutch, we'll just 
delete that there, and then our lower clutch. Now our lower being this one here, upper being this one here. Okay, that's completely sorted. Um, if you want to make a symbol for this, go ahead. Now, let's get our logic out. We got the upper clutch, our lower clutch, our entry clutches. Constant number. One. That's that done. <laughs> now we need to get two functions. Just hook those up. There we go. So our upper and lower clutch. Our lower clutch. Type SQRT. Means square root of COS. Cosine. Then X times PI or pi divided by 2. Simple as that. Next one. Square root again. Sine. SIN and X times pi divided by two. Close the brackets. Save that as your transmission. CVT transmission. Let's get our CVT. Let's put our lower clutch into our lower, our upper into our upper, our entries into our entries, our CVT engagement into there. And that is it. That right there is a CVT transmission. You can see that we're sitting in a solid 6.62 RPS, 0% engagement. Engage our CVT. And look at that. A com almost completely linear. It's, it's pretty linear. It's not perfect, obviously. But it is as close as you're going to get. I mean, like, look at that. That's, that's amazing. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a really quick, really simple, but incredibly useful tutorial. So, look, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed making this. I enjoyed making the lure. It's, it's a lot of fun to make stuff like this. It technically challenges me, and I like sharing it with you guys. But I hope you have all enjoyed very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.